Hi, this is a quick getting started guide to using Postgres along with Docker. Now typically when you start using Postgres and Docker together, there are a couple of uh, scenarios that uh, you might be searching for answers and hopefully this video will give you a quick tour of some of those features. Um, so the agenda of the video is uh, to give you a really quick introduction, a uh, quick example of how you can create uh, Postgres Docker containers. And then once we do that, we'll uh, take a look at how we can connect to the Docker container and run some Postgres uh, queries against um, the Docker container or using the Docker container. And in doing so, you'll find that uh, it's a little tedious and uh, not that flexible um, or obviously not the way that you typically are used to, uh, which brings the, uh, the third step, uh, which is uh, how we can automate running these scripts um, uh, using the Docker command line interface and uh, work from within your host uh, machine instead of uh, connecting to the Docker containers directly to run these queries. So that's the agenda for this video. So uh, for starters, let's take a look at how we can um, connect to uh, or rather uh, create a Docker container uh, for p working with Postgres. Um, so I've kind of uh, got these commands here already. So the command that we need to do is uh, to uh, run uh, a Docker container. Let's give it a, a name that uh, we can uh, easily identify um, uh, a default password and um, initialize it with the uh, Postgres uh, objects. So um, if you're not familiar with Docker or um, haven't installed Docker before, I've got several other videos in my library which you can take a look at. So let's get started with the first command. So um, what we're doing is running um, a container with the name demo. So keep in mind that if you haven't downloaded um, uh, the Postgres uh, um, Docker image uh, before, it's actually going to take a lot longer the very first time. In my case, since it's already downloaded, it happened fairly quickly. So we can double check that the container is running, um, run Docker PS, and you'll notice that uh, that's the name uh, we have just given, uh, name as demo, and it's uh, currently running. So now that we have that in place, uh, let's take a look at um, the step two, which is how we can connect and uh, run some queries against um, the Postgres uh, instance uh, within Docker. Uh, so for that, let's actually connect to uh, the Docker instance itself. So um, you remember, since we have given it an um, easy, easily identifiable name, we can quickly connect to that. So um, basically, we are executing it um, the, using the container name. And then we'll run the p sql. Uh, that's the command line interface for Postgres, and we'll log in as user Postgres. Um, so there we go. So now we are in the Postgres um, uh, command line interface, and uh, let's try and run some um, commands there. So uh, to get started, let's actually create a database, and let's call it demo db1. All right, and um, Let's actually then connect to that, connect to demo db1. And let's say create, create table demo t something int and uh, insert into demo t something values. Let's say just as a simple test. All right, so great. We, we have, um, uh, demo table, so select star from demo. Obviously, these are ridiculously simple examples, but just to illustrate that, well, it's um, for us to work within the Docker container, at times it can be difficult, um, particularly when you're doing the initial setup and you want to uh, create all these uh, tables, indexes, uh, sequences, etc. So maybe there's a better way to do that. So let's actually take a look at uh, the step three, which is uh, how we can uh, try and automate much of this process and simplify it. So just before we do that, let's actually go ahead and uh, exit from here. And uh, yes, let's uh, go ahead and remove this image. Uh, um, NSF demo. Let's uh, let's get rid of that uh, uh, container. And um, what we will do now is we'll run the same uh, Docker command as uh, we did before. 
um, and only this time around uh, and uh, let me just uh, keep for our reference we know that for if you wanted to connect to um, uh, the psql interface you can directly execute it this way but um, here for uh, for us to simplify working um, with uh, docker uh, using the cli one of the things that we can do is we can mount a volume um, that uh, we can map that to a folder within the docker container so in my current working directory um, i've got um, a script called script demo so cat script demo so here you can see that it's uh, basically doing the same thing that you saw me um, uh, do before oops uh, let me get rid of that uh, yeah so here we are uh, so same as before but right now the commands are in a dot sql file so now that it's in a dot sql file uh, one of the things we can then do is uh, mount the current working directory wherever i'm calling um, the docker command line from and mount that to um, a folder within the container and uh, the rest of the parameters are pretty much the same as what we ran before all right so uh, with that in place let's actually run this command so make sure that um, you're running it uh, in the same folder that you have your um, uh, script file here so let's run that okay so uh, again, it's um, got that instance created. Um, and then what we can do is, um, uh, one of the things you'll notice is uh, in the script itself, um, we uh, don't have, we don't have the create table. Um, so one of the ways that we can uh, do that directly from Docker is um, just like how we could connect to psql, uh, but here we can issue um, uh, SQL commands uh, directly from uh, the Docker, uh, C, um, the CLI. So instead of us connecting to Docker container, we can connect to that directly. And uh, then finally, one of the things we can do is, um, uh, since we've got um, the script file created here, which has all the um, uh, SQL commands that we want to execute, uh, the next thing we can do is, uh, oops, the next thing what we can do is then uh, directly run the um, SQL script file using Docker. So here, uh, let's go ahead and run that. So you'll notice that behind the scene, um, we have uh, created the table and inserted one row. So let's uh, cat that again. So here you can see that um, uh, from the command line, we have issued um, a, a command to create db2 demo and within the script we are um, connecting to db2 running uh, a couple of script commands so again now we can uh, if we go back and um, connect to postgres so um, this time around we will want to connect to demo db2 okay and if we list the the objects there yep we have a demo t and uh, um, star from demo t. There we go. So um, simple example of how you can um, use uh, Postgres um, from within Docker. So we have taken a look at how you can connect uh, to Postgres um, within Docker and um, try and automate, if you will, um, many of the um, the uh, commands that you will on typical locations want to connect to docker the container itself but uh, it's much easier uh, for us to do it from within our host um, dev machine slash uh, server uh, so that's a wrap for this video i uh, hope you like the video thanks for watching